heading down to Echo Park today, guys. I'm here with David D. Smooth. We're on our way down there. We're gonna rent a boat, a paddle boat. Take it out, try to fish some of this deeper water, deeper structure out here. See if we can get some fish for you guys. Stay tuned. This is David right there. Say what up, David. What's happening? Sorry, I'm wet. <laughs> We're gonna go do some bass fishing. I've never been here, Chad's been here. Mr. Reckless, here, let me record it real quick. See that. Here I am, guys, Reckless right here. That's right. Got my bandana on under here, because it's like super hot, about 100 degrees out here today. Got my bait, my bait cast rod and my spinning rod. We're gonna try to get some fish for you guys. I'm gonna pass it back to David and see if he's got anything to say to you. What you Basically, got for us? I don't know anything. I'm learning from Chad, he's going to put us on some fish, and my first time at this lake, so new lake, hopefully new pattern, we got a drop shot tied on, I got a bait caster with a rage craw on there, I'm going to try to make something happen, bring some content to you, anybody who's not from California and wants to see what's going on over here. What's up fishing fam, today I'm over here at Echo Park. I'm over here with David D. Smooth TV. I got a uh, spinning rod and a bait cast rod with me today. I'm going to be throwing a Nico rig on my bait cast rod with the 8 inch worm. And then I have a, uh, a split shotted 3 inch worm from C3 Baits. Stay tuned, guys. This should be a good video. We're going to try to get some fish for you guys. No, it ain't. I knew he was a little bigger. <laughs> Got this nice bass right here, guys, over here at Echo Park. Got him on a C3 Baits worm. This guy's been caught before. You can see his lips messed up right there. Got it kind of deep, so I'm going to have to turn this hook upside down. I seen the swirl coming the second time he was out in deeper water, and I seen the swirl coming in. This guy's really hooked good, guys. You know these hooks are like very hard to get out their mouth. These eagle claws. I'm gonna give it a couple more tries like this. See if I can get it. Uh, yeah. Okay, it came out. It's out. Just hooked in his gill just a tad right there. Okay. There it is, guys, right there. Nice little bass. First there it is right there guys it's a dink but there's lots of dinks here bass are even hard to catch even though they're dinks i'll show you guys what i caught it on right now after i release this little guy all right here we go see you later kevin You can see all the turtles down here. There's turtles down here swimming everywhere. Here's little guy. Caught them right out here in front of these two little pipes sticking up. It's deeper water. These bass are in uh, these weeds. I figured it out. They're in the shade and they're in these weeds. And that guy came out out there in deeper water, right out there, and then he swam on in. And I seen his wake. All right, guys, we're gonna keep on fishing. We might hit up Lincoln Park and Lake Balboa, maybe even the private lake. Who knows? Stay tuned, keep watching. Please like and subscribe, guys. We're now leaving Echo Park. I got one over there and David had a bite. He hooked up, but the fish came off. We fished a couple little humps over there. It was so freaking hot. We're heading over to Lincoln Park now. I never fished there before, neither has David. So we're gonna give it a shot at a new lake. Really trying to catch some fish for you today, guys. Can Chad I... made it happen. I froze. I had a 12 inch on. But when I saw the fish eat it, it was more like sight fishing. So I pulled the hook out of its mouth and then it set the hook right. Chad, he, on the other hand, he did deliver the punch. <laughs> <laughs> so at least we got one fish out of here. It was really busy. Paddle boats everywhere, people everywhere. Mm -hmm. I mean, super clear water. It's kind of hard to fish 
situations like that, you know, it's hot and the fish are whatever, lethargic, whatever fishermen like to call it. I grew up fishing a, a reservoir for probably close to like 20 years I fished a reservoir, so um, I have a lot of confidence fishing natural lakes and reservoirs. So these past couple years I've been fishing the um, these park lakes a lot. Just to keep my confidence there, you know, when it gets tough on a big lake, I'll still have confidence because, you know, I, I only fish, I only catch one fish a day out here on these lakes and that's really good for these lakes out here for you even to catch one good sized bass a day, so. I got the giveaway coming up soon, guys. It's a 500 su subscriber giveaway. I just hit 400 subscribers, so thank you guys awesome. who all subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys, I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please uh, hit the like button down below and leave a comment. Uh, let me know what lakes you want me to fish at. Give me some ideas. We'll be back. Stay tuned, as Chad always says. All right, guys, quick update. We didn't have any bites or any luck over here at Lincoln Park, so now we're going to go over to uh, Lake X. I'll catch you guys when I get there. Made it over here to Lake Balboa. About to go uh, fish Balboa for a little bit and then uh, go to the private lake. Catch you guys in a little bit. Hopefully, I'll have a fish in my hand when you see me next. David just hooked up. I heard him, dude. Want me to nip him? It's a good one. Oh, yeah. We gotta weigh this guy. I gotta steal. Oh, he's That's it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You gonna get him? What was that on? Oh, yeah, baby. Thanks, man. Oh, yeah. Solid baby. two and a half. Oh, yeah. We're about to weigh that bad boy. That fish ate it, too. About to do a surgery on him. Real quick. Nice. Wires nice. real quick from my back. See that hook right there? Grab that thing. Yeah, guys. That's how we do it out here in Southern California. David just gave him a little bit of water now. Just took the hook out. Trying to get that fish a little bit in the water. I just caught another one. Another one. Yeah, he's ready to go. I just want to put him on the scale. I'm kind of curious. We just did a short little surgery on him. Perfect. Be sure to subscribe and like. Make sure you guys go check out David D. Smooth TV on YouTube. It's at zero right now, zero now. Yep, she's ready. So, 2.87, nice, not that big. 2.87, right yep. There. <laughs> Tune, guys, the fish are jumping everywhere right now. David's in a hot little honey hole right here.
David just got another one, guys. David's ripping lips tonight. A little bit smaller one. I heard him he ate it. He choked it too? Yeah. What do you got on there, lizard? Yeah. Here, yeah. hold it real quick for me. If Choking you that lizard at night, dude. I think I need to switch to that lizard, I think. You have it with the, oh, you got the Texas race? Yeah. Yeah, bite it off. There it is right there guys. That's number two for David. That's number three actually. Oh number three, my bad. This corner is full though. I'm gonna go over there to that other corner and start working it right. Dark. I'm gonna go over there at the other corner over there guys and see if I could rip some more lips. Good job bro. Boom.